What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna talk about today why I was declined for an American Express uh, card uh, over the over the weekend, last weekend. Um, you guys, I did a poll, I got over about 200 votes. I gave you a couple options and I'm gonna obviously reveal to you what the option was today and go from there. For you guys who thought I was declined for uh, income, that was the biggest one. I'm going to first for a service. No, was not declined for income, not bragging or nothing like that, but income was not an issue. Credit obviously is not an issue. I mean, come on, this is the Credit Card Maestro channel. If credit is ever an issue, I need to stop making videos. Just gonna, I can't be no hypocrite. Uh, so, credit was not an issue, income was not an issue, and uh, other was not an issue. The issue was 410, and I'm going to talk about that right now. All right. So over the weekend, I applied for an American Express card. I'm not going to tell you which one it is yet. I want you guys to take a hint because I'll be doing an unboxing of the video uh, in two days. So I'm not going to tell you which card it is. I'm doing an unboxing on it, but you guys can take the hints that I'm going to give to you and go from there. So I applied for this card. Now, the thing about American Express, the reason I did it, I have a couple of American Express cards and you don't get your credit ran as far as a hard inquiry is considered a soft inquiry so it doesn't affect your credit score so I had nothing to lose if I was approved great if I was declined great and typically I don't get declined for Amex cards it's just not really something that happens for me I'm not bragging I'm just letting you know so I apply for it I unfreeze my credit I make sure your credit is always frozen financial tip make sure your credit is frozen when you're not applying for things it prevents fraud and all that stuff with everything going on i made a video about that um, you can find that video in my credit tip actually i'll put a video i'll put the tag right there um why you should freeze your credit freeze your credit so i unfreeze my credit and i apply for this card has a nice sign up bonus i go into incognito mode because if you apply for an amx card typically through the normal browser you are um, going to get a lower sign up bonus so i went incognito and i saw a almost double bonus for this card which was a sweet deal. So I'm like, okay, cool. I apply for the card. I'm like, I'm going to get approved. And then I'm denied. I was denied. I was denied. And the sucky part about the denial was it was just automatic decline. And I'm like, well, it's not credit. I don't know what it could possibly be. And it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday night. I call into the reconsideration line and reconsideration lines closed. They only do Monday through Friday. So I had a whole night I had to sit there and dwell. And I know it's not big considering everything else is going on, but to me it was big. I was declined for something like from Amex, like what's going on? Um, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on, declined. I called the reconsideration line the next day and they tell me obviously I'm declined and they tell me why. So Amex has this rule right now. It's called the, it's not called the 410 rule, but I'll call it that to just make it simple. 410. Four credit cards, 10 charge cards. Business and personal are combined on both sides. So you can't have more than four credit cards and 10 charge cards combined, okay? Now I also wanna clarify this because no other YouTuber has said this. So for my YouTubers who, my fellow YouTubers who watch this that you know, give the information, shout out to all of you. The four credit card accounts also include personal loans. I wanted to really ask all those questions because I do, I get that offer in the mail at least once a month for personal loans. If you guys don't know, you get personal loans from American Express if you're a high value customer. The personal loans go towards the four accounts, the four credit card accounts, even though it's not a credit card. Why is that the rule? Don't know, but I don't have to worry about it. But if you guys have personal loans out there, if you have three credit cards and a personal loan, that's four. So keep that in mind before you apply for the card. At that point, I was, you know, made a decision do i close one of my cards that i don't necessarily use anymore and get the card or do i just keep the denial and that's it so obviously you know i had to think about it but i was looking at a card i have this blue cash card that i don't use um that i don't really find value to anymore so i closed it out and at that point obviously i was approved and i'm like okay cool does that include the sign up bonus that i got because i got an extended sign up bonus and then i have another issue at that point they tell me no we don't see the offer. So I'm like, wait, what do you mean you don't see the offer? Like you just made me close an account, hurt my credit because I closed an account. Um, probably can't get it reinstated. Um, and if do, I got to probably talk to some higher ups. And then I'm applying for this card. For some reason, I don't qualify for the card. What is going on? The lady goes on and tells me I've had this card before um, pre previously in the past. 
And I'm like, I haven't had this card in the past. I've had a card that was the lower tier of this card. If you don't know some of the co-branded Amex cards, and that's another hint for you guys. The co-branded Amex cards, you know, you'll have A, B, and C. Um, and in the terms and conditions, if you've had or have had the revamped or unrevamped or the original version of a certain card, you don't qualify for the sign up bonus. I never had this card before. So I told this lady, I've never had this card before. I've had the, the lower level of this card, but I haven't had this one or the previous version of this card before it was revamped recently. Another hint, it was just revamped recently. Haven't had it. So we got to get this escalated. We got to escalate it. Three days later, well, no, the next day after um, I apply, that same day, Monday, I get a knock on the door as UPS. Here's your card. Like, I, and I got, you know, I'm opening it up. I'm like, what is this? I didn't order it. It's American Express. It's the card. I'm like, hold on. I don't even want to see this card right now because I was just declined for it. I'm probably not going to get the sign-up bonus. I'm pissed off. I got to pay an annual fee for this, possibly. I was just in a bad mood when it came to that. Uh, three days later, though, it comes out that I, I've, I actually was eligible for it. I had to go to a different team. But it was just so many ups and downs, guys. And I was just going through it. So I figured I'd share my story with you guys. Um, yes, Corona is hurting everything with um, approvals. But for the people who have great credit, great history with these banks, you should be okay, especially when it comes to Amex. Now, keep in mind that 410 rule is real. That includes business and personal credit cards and also loans. But if you are okay, like if you're good, if you don't have that many, you should still be fine. Um, the success rate should still be good. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, that's the video. If you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up. This was definitely one of the, probably the only issue I've ever had with American Express, so I'm not bashing them. It's my favorite credit card company. Definitely above Chase in my books. But it was just so much up and down. At first I'm declined and I get approved, but then I'm not eligible for the sign up bonus for some reason. It was just so much going on, so I figured I'd share the story. If you guys liked it, let me know down below. Share with me your crazy story you've ever had with a bank as well, and I hope you enjoyed it. The unboxing for this card, I'm going to drop two days after this. So this video is coming out Friday. I'm gonna drop the unboxing on Sunday. Guys, give me what you think is the, um, what's the guess, what, what card do you think it is? It's the co-branded Amex card. It has a, it's not higher than the Amex Platinum, but it's still up there. That's another hint. And uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, the winner, actually, the first person who is the winner gets a free um, Got Credit uh, t-shirt. And I'll put the link right here. You can choose. You can get the Got Credit t-shirt or you can get the Book It Life's Short Credit Card Muscle t-shirt. You pick. Winner gets one or the other. So I'm going to be picking the winner. So that gives you more... Uh, you know reason to actually pick so yeah, that's the that's the announcement right there winner first winner gets to pick their color their size either the book it life short credit card master t-shirt or got credit credit card master t-shirt. I'll see you in another, another video. Take care